Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Girl. Um, yeah, this, these plots here are developed to, to demonstrate different uh, spray uh, injury and sublethal spray injury. Um, the reason that's important is so that, that producers can understand what injury they're actually seeing in their crop. And a good example of that is uh, over the last few years we've had lots of samples come into our crop protection lab where the producer is suspecting that for whatever reason that the Liberty that he's applying to his Liberty Link canola is damaging his, his Liberty Link canola for some reason. And they, they know there's herbicide damage, but they, they're not sure exactly what uh, kind of damage is present. And so by understanding what kind of symptoms he should look for, then we can tell him that yes, this is, this is what damaged your canola. So uh, what we've got with these plots here, um, the one that I'm standing in right now is, has had Liberty applied to it and the Liberty has been applied at a quarter of the normal rate uh, and that's to try and produce some sublethal symptoms in the canola plants here. Uh, what we have in this plot is a mixture of Liberty Link canola, Clearfield canola and Roundup Ready canola. Um, the symptoms that we would find with uh, Liberty would be uh, something very similar to the symptoms that we're seeing on this leaf here. And it's a very quick burn. Um, and uh, it, it has a bit of a white tinge to it as well. Um, a lot of herbicides when they cause sort of the burning symptoms that we would normally see with a contact herbicide um, those symptoms have um, yellow or uh, manila colored type uh, tissues underneath whereas Liberty tends to turn things fairly white uh, when it does that burning damage. And so we have uh, one of the, the non-Liberty Link uh, plants here that's showing this damage. There's another example of one here that has uh, little white spots on the leaves. You may see a little bit of yellowing that spreads out from those spots as well. Um, but generally it's a very quick contact damage that we're seeing with, uh, with Liberty Damage on canola. Okay, so now we're in front of a different plot. What is this one? What we're in front of now is a, a plot that's been treated with Odyssey. And Odyssey is a group 2 herbicide. And oftentimes when we get these cases of, of Liberty um, being accused of causing damage, uh, the damage that we actually see is group two injury. And so we can see the, the plants on the, uh, that are just in behind me here, haven't been treated with anything. So they're, they're kind of the control. And the, plot, the plants that are in here, uh, in the plot, are ones that have been treated with a, uh, a two-tenths rate of uh, Odyssey. And so when we start looking in the plot here at these plants that have been treated, these tall ones here are ones that are actually the clear field types. And so they're tolerating the herbicide and they haven't shown any injury symptoms. The ones that are showing the injury symptoms are the ones that are down in the plots here a little bit. And so what we typically see with uh, the group two damage in canola is that uh, we've got plants that um, the new growth is very compressed. Um, there's yellowing in the center of the plant, so the new growth yellows off a little bit. And then if we've got uh, extended effects past that, then we get uh, all the branches uh, erupting at the same time. So all of our branches will be all exactly the same length. And that shows that we had all of our, our secondary buds all breaking all simultaneously. And that's a symptom of group two. And it's because the, uh, generally in a plant, the main growing point controls how branches are produced on the plant. But if you take away the control of that main growing point, so if I was to pull this off, it would cause that same effect further down the plant. You'd see all the buds erupt further down the plant. So we're doing that chemically with the group two 
And so that's causing a lot of uh, those lateral buds that are down at the bottom of the plant to erupt. And so you get lots of shoots occurring down at the bottom of the plant. Um, you see stunting of the new growth. You see miniaturization of the new leaves that are being produced and the new growth that's being produced. And uh, a lot of people look at purpling as a, as a cause of, of, or as a symptom that we look for for herbicide damage. Purpling is, is just a plant's cry for help. And so it's kind of something that I try and keep out of any diagnostics as far as a symptom goes. And I look at all these other physical symptoms to try and figure out what's going on with the plant. But by and large, that's what we see in the cases that are coming in with concerns about damage to their Liberty Link canola is group two uh, injury. And the reason that we're having group two injury is because the sprayer likely had contamination with uh, group two herbicides that they had applied previously um, in the spray season.